Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make tapioca pearl with the coconut milk. Today it will be easy Thai dessert and very refreshing you. But before we start it, I want to explain for you for about three ingredients you might don't know it. First, today we making tapioca peel. So this is a look like they have so many color. I gonna use the green one today, and this one the rainbow color, and they have a white color. This uh, this color people using a lot the white color. And the green color, so and they sometimes we call them sago in Thailand. We always call them sago, and then also you can find them the in the Asian grocery store. They really cheap, and um, we can make a lot of dessert with this sago or tapioca peel. Next, pandan leaf. I um they don't have the fake one for sale a lot in over here, so we just have to buy them frozen. They coming in the long leaf. They can frozen very good. And the smell is just still there. They can so we just gonna buy them for and in the bag like this. Today I have a chance to buy the fresh jackfruit. Okay, but if you cannot find the fresh one, you can just um, use one in the can. But um, I prefer I like the fresh one because they more crunchy and more fresh. But if you cannot cannot find in the can, it will be okay too. So we're going to make our salad first. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the stove uh, to the medium high, and I'm going to use the coconut water. Okay. One can the coconut water. This is have the pulp in, and they already have the natural sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in. They about two cup, but this one can the coconut uh, water. Okay, and then we're gonna give the aloma favorite coconut. Uh, Drink with the pandan leaf, but I like to tie them to a knot. It will be easy for you when you mix them. Okay, and remove. <laughs> you can see all the skin. Little bit of skin come out already. I use about two leaf of the pandan. In Thailand, uh, a lot of Thai dessert we always have to use the pandan leaf. They like a vanilla for um, the wet and dessert. They all easy to go. The a lot of house in Thailand in the backyard is always have the pandan bush, and then like they really pretty brute too. And then they growing a lot, a lot easy and smell really good. Okay. Okay. And next, I going to add the sugar. Today I use white sugar for this recipe. Normal we use a lot the Thai dessert with the palm sugar, but for this recipe, it better. I mean, not better, but I prefer to use the white sugar. Okay, and now I'm gonna let the all the sugar dissolve and all the franken from the pandan leaf come out with the coconut water before I add the next ingredient. Okay, now all the sugar is dissolved, so I'm gonna lowering the heat. Okay, because I want to put the coconut milk in. I don't want the coconut milk to um, separate, so I just gonna lowering the heat. And also for the sweetness for the sugar, you can um, add more sugar if you want it more sweet. Okay, so I use the two can the coconut milk, and I just gonna cook this uh, about like low heat, cause we don't want the the cream to be separate. Stop. <laughs> I'd like to put all the single drop in here because the um, normal is all the extra fat is always stick it on the can. And then also we're gonna uh, cook them in the low heat because we don't want the coconut milk to turn to be the curdle. Okay, in the low heat and now our coconut syrup, creamy coconut syrup is ready. If you can see the little bit of bubble coming up like this and now it's ready. I'm going to turn off the heat because you don't want to overcook them. And this have to be completely cool so I'm gonna cool them in the ice bowl. And then I this is have to be completely cool so I'm just gonna cool them in the ice bowl. Okay, so they 
going to be faster. All right, and we can prepare the next step. Okay, and next we're going to cook our sago. Okay, but um, I'm going to use the two cup. Two cup is a one bag, a fourteen out. And okay, sorry, I just going to say you have the water have to be fully, fully boiled before you add the sago. Otherwise, it's a uh, all going to be like uh, dissolve and disappear. I I learned that by myself before by um, putting when the water not really full boil. So so what happened is the sago not getting sealed fast enough so they will be all dissolved and all mushy thick together so be careful with that because on the back no have instruction for you how long to cook or how to cook so we will cook um, our sago for 15 minutes okay what the meantime when we wait for our tapioca pearl cooking we're gonna come and cut our jackfruit that we have um, jackfruit have a lot of sap, so I'm going to put a little bit of vegetable oil, the cooking oil on my hand, so then when I touch them, it's not stick. Okay, and also I'm going to put them on the knife a little bit too, put on the napkin, and then just put them on the knife like this. And also, don't forget, I forget to tell you, I have to um, give the sago a mix a little bit. Mm, look at that. So, so they not all stick together. And now I'm going to remove the middle part. We're not going to use this. Like I'm saying, if you cannot find the um, face jackfruit, you can just uh, use the one in the can. But when if you like jackfruit, you know it face one is always better. They have a um, uh, different texture they kind of uh, more crispy than in the canned one and next we're gonna just uh, spit them out like this with your hand they're really easy okay and then you're just going to if you can see you just take them out like this but you're gonna have to cut out the skin the peel and we not use this white part like right here we not use this part Okay, we take them out because they're not that sweet. We're just going to use the meat. And actually in Thailand, even the the seed, the jackfruit seed, we boil them, we cook them, and we eat them too. And they're really, really good too. It tastes like a nut. It tastes like a bean corn and or nut, something like that. It tastes really good too. My mom loves it. Okay, I'm just going to cut them all and I will show you when we're done. Okay, now I done cutting our um, jackfruit. I only used half what I have, and now I'm just going to cut them to the bite side. Actually, not really cut. It's just like try to make it smaller into like easier for you to eat. Okay. Okay. Now being 15 minutes that we cook our sago, and then you can see up this. They still have a little bit of white part inside there, but that's okay, they're cooking. But for make sure, I'm gonna turn off the heat right now. And I'm going to give them a cover for 5 minutes, and then we can come for the next step. Okay, after 5 minutes, oh, we cover. Look at them. Okay, and now we have to wash them off to um, remove the extra... I need help for this. <laughs> to me. Hold on, help me. <laughs> Okay, gonna do half at a time. Alrighty. Oh, oh. Sorry. Uh, you're gonna need help if you cook a lot. Because this is, uh, I'm cooking them a lot. So if you just cook them a little bit, if you just want to cook them a little bit, just cut half of the my recipe. And look at this. Now the white part is all gone. If you can see, don't have any more white part before but they're still hot. I want to show you with my hand. Okay. Now, I, you just have to put in the cold water to stop in the cooking process and then you can see this, how, how it looks like now. And then I'm going to finish clean them all and then I will uh, put in the bowl and we come for the next step. Okay, and now um, everything is done. We just have to put together. I have my 
uh, jackfruit to the bite side and I have the uh, we need the crust eye too so okay because this, this is supposed to serve in cold cold and take me a little bit longer to stop the cooking process for this tapioca peel because the water somewhere in the Lusona, the water is still even super warm super super warm even I try to make it cold okay so just put the tapioca peel much that you like you can put just a little bit you can put a lot but for me I really like to put them a lot so I'm just going to put half it and then half the the tapioca pearl. All right, and give me just another spoon on this cup. All right, and now I'm going to put our creamy coconut syrup on the top. I get them real cold. Okay, just pour them on the top. Oh, look at this creamy coconut syrup. They will the coconut will go down a little bit more, and then I will add some more. They need more in that cup. I just need the time to go in little, down a little bit more because there are a lot of ice on the bottom. Oh, can't wait. This is another my favorite one in Thailand. And also the sago, you can do the pudding. You can make a lot with the sago. Okay, and this is the jackfruit. It's your choice. You can put the young coconut for the topping. You can put the cantaloupe for the topping. Is your choice or mango or your favorite food? But the one it go good with the I recommend myself um, jackfruit, or um, cantaloupe or young coconut. All right, so now I can't wait to taste them. <laughs> of course, she really really waiting for it when uh, when I have a taste of taste. She like to come join me, so she want me to hold her and so she can see what I eating. All right, so I just have one hand. So I'm just gonna have a coco coconut and then the sago. Okay. Mm mm mm. Mm. Okay. If you have the straw, the boba straw, use that straw and then just use them um, to be the the drink. It will be so good. Mm. Mm. I just want to finish this cup the coconut sago thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video i hope you like this recipe please give me a thumb up subscribe and you will see me for the next recipe thank you bye